what's up everybody Adrian here back with another video this time we're going to be taking a look at all the different Batmans who played the best Batman and the best Bruce Wayne together so we're gonna start first with the TV show from 1966 with Adam West when he played Batman I know that it's like for children and very cartoonish and funny and here's a fun fact Burgess Meredith the actor from Rocky who played Mickey his trainer is actually the penguin so I don't really remember if he played a good Bruce Wayne but as Batman I guess for his time was a good Batman even though it was just for kids let me know in the comments if you remember if he was a good Batman and Bruce Wayne together next we're gonna be taking a look at Michael Keaton's Batman Michael Keaton was just like a regular guy he didn't have muscles he didn't really work out he just put on a suit that had abs the suit made him look all muscular with fake muscles and fake abs but as Bruce Wayne I remember him being kind of like bland not very memorable monotone and quiet but when he played Batman he like whispered he's like I'm Batman but he didn't overdo it like Christian Bale so as Batman he was pretty good but as Bruce Wayne he was kind of bland but he did pull off the Batman look with his chin next we get the Val Kilmer in Batman Forever so far I think he has the best chin the best structure he did like a whisper menacing voice so it worked for this movie Val Kilmer actually got in shape and had some muscle and I think this was the first introduction of bat nipples Val Kilmer as Bruce Wayne and he was kind of like Michael Keaton a low-key billionaire just like a monotone regular guy but as Batman I think he did a great job and I think he had a better chin and facial structure when he had the mask on than Michael Keaton. Now we come to the most controversial Batman with George Clooney as Batman. You had more bat nipples. He didn't play Batman. He played George Clooney playing Batman. Even when he took off the suit as Bruce Wayne, he just played George Clooney. He even would do his signature head tilt both as Bruce Wayne and as Batman. Yeah, he pulled off the chin. George Clooney was the worst. Now we get, I think, to what is the best Batman trilogy, the Christopher Nolan movies, with Batman being played by Christian Bale. The one thing everybody gives him shit about is his raspy voice. Everybody does their exaggerated impression of him. Was he really that bad when you think about it? His portrayal of Bruce Wayne to this day is the best his version of bruce wayne is just so smug he played an okay batman and the voice kind of got annoying after a while i would give him the top spot of being an okay batman but the best bruce wayne now we get to the latest batman played by ben affleck he was the best batman ben affleck is a better batman than christian bale he's not as good as bruce wayne as christian bale but batman number one he had the better bat suit he had the better chin they fixed his voice he didn't have his raspy voice he had like a voice modulator stuck inside his suit like this robotic grimy voice it was perfect he had big muscles he was doing crossfit and this batman threw his one rule of not killing people out the window he would shoot people he would smash them into the ground he would snap their necks break their limbs but as bruce wayne in my opinion he stunk he just played Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. It took me out of the movie, so I just wish they could have mixed Ben Affleck as Batman and Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne. If you could merge that together, that would be the greatest Batman-Bruce Wayne combination in history. So until next time, catch you later.